here. Yeah, yeah. The phone up. Um, and they, they had all star players. Georgie Best in particular, was obviously the best, one of the best that's ever been. He was the best really, until Lola Messi came on the scene, I think. You agree with that, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, we, the people in charge of us, we never spoke about opposition. We only spoke about how we were going to play and the effort we're going to put in. And it's all about the way you start the games against. Because all these, I mean, you, we were all, ex when I played, we were expected to lose every game we played in the FA Youth Cup. We beat Arsenal and teams like that. And it's just because we were a good team. Not necessarily individuals were good, but as a team, we were all together. And as one of people that one of our uh, physios said, if somebody kicks number nine, the other ten didn't. So you all feel it together as a group. That's the way to beat these so-called better teams. It doesn't mean to say they're a better team because they're Man United. That doesn't mean anything. During my career, we played loads of cup matches against top teams, and, and we beat a lot of them. Not because we were better than them, because we committed ourselves on the day, and we came out on top. That's the way you can beat them. It's probably the only way you can beat them. You have to be fully committed to a one-off game. I mean, the final against Man United, we won up for about three quarters of an hour or something. We could have ended up winning the home game. Drew one all in the end, but... Who scored the goal in that game? Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Um, and George, you best got theirs. Um, so I wouldn't bad. But, yeah, they... We... Five of their players from that team that played against us went on to play at least 150 games for Man United. So you can imagine, they were quite a good side. But we, we, we still nearly beat them. And a lot of our players, most of our players, wouldn't have been as skillful as what you, are, you players are. I can tell you that now. But they had heart. And they put everything into the game. And that's what counts in these games. You have to be right on top of it straight away. Right from the start. You have to be at it. Let them know you're out there. Which is what our defenders did when I played, because we had some big lads at the back. They were solely defenders. They couldn't, skill-wise, very little. Defensive-wise, a different class. Knew what to do. Couldn't play. I mean, you lads play twice as good as what they ever did, the defenders, but they could defend and did their job. Their job was to keep forwards quiet and get the ball clear. And that was what they did. And we did that for sort of six months and got to the final way doing it. But as I say, they, the Man United players went on, whereas all the players from the team I played in, they were all gone a year later. They didn't have the, they didn't have the quality to go on. But for a whole year, brilliant, effort-wise, superb. And that's what will, will do you well tomorrow night. The first five minutes, ten minutes, it's always the most important in a game anyway. You can see what the game's going to do after ten minutes. Less than that, to be honest. Five minutes, you can see what the game's going to be like. And you have to run about like, oh, I don't know what, the first five minutes, ten minutes. Even do things you don't normally do. Closing goalkeepers down and... Because they'll, they'll play from the back, we know that, don't we? They're obviously going to do that. Play across the back four. But if you make it hard for them from the start, it'll put them right off. Because they won't be used to that. Because they'll be used to playing, I call it tippy-tappy football. Across the back and keep the ball and... They won't be used to, if you lads get at them, they won't be used to that. Wonder what's hit them. Hopefully. Because it means a lot to the club as well. It means a lot to you lads. We should do. You should all want to go out and show them how good you are. You want people to go home and say, number nine was good tonight, number six was good tonight. That's what you want people going home with families and letting people know how good you were. Because there's always somebody there watching you. It could help you in the future. But just make sure you go out and give it all the effort you can, especially to start off with. That's all I've got to say to you. And I hope you can come out and get a good result. Are you going to watch? I should be here, yeah. yeah. I was here for the other game we played. 5 nil game. I enjoyed that.
Det är ju där som har. Och jag just wish you all the best then. Thank you. I hope you can get a win. Because you're not only playing for you, you're playing for Swindon Town as well. It helps the club out. And if you beat clubs like teams like this, then it helps the staff and everybody out. Signing players and everything. It just helps. All along. So let's get and do it then, yeah? Yeah, All right, thank any, you. Any questions, boys? No. Yeah, I've got one. What would you say the biggest moment in your career was? Biggest moment in my career? Yeah. Third goal at Wembley in 1969. Not bad. Against yeah. Arsenal. Was that to win the league cup? Yeah, yeah, that was a dream. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Run to the halfway line, beat the keeper and slot it. Nice feeling that was, because that meant we'd won. 3-1, all over. Didn't matter what the goal was like, just meant we'd won. To be a team like that as well, all internationals. That's a, that's a prime example as well. All, all internationals Arsenal were. We didn't have any. But we had a lot of that. Not me, but the rest of them. But, <laughs> to be fair though. But that's what it's all about. You can beat these teams. No, and don't worry, you shouldn't worry about it. You should expect to win. You don't go out and expect to win, you might as well not go out. Cheers. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> Any questions? Ask me about the Man United game. <laughs> <laughs> was um, George Best, like, could you see he was much better than Oh, yeah, back? yeah, he's, he's classy. He was. Yeah. I loved him, I thought he was brilliant. He was, he was, he was incredible. I mean, the way people fall down now when they get touched, Everybody's trying to kick George your best all the time, and he stayed on his feet. He didn't fall over like an idiot like they do now. <laughs> Annoys me intensely that day. Just a little touch. <laughs> Should have played in my day, then they'd have had a few kicks, then they would have known. Because you was, was allowed a couple of freebies in my day. You're not allowed them anymore. No, he was brilliant, George your best. Absolutely brilliant. <coughs> That's it then. All the best. Good question with you. What would be the one key thing you would say to the boys going into the prep today and in the game tomorrow? What would be that? the key message? The key message? Everybody? Believe they can win. Simple as that. The problem is just social media nowadays. I mean, we didn't have any of that when I was younger. Social media, you can find out about any player you want now, can you? So you lot have always been having a look at that, wouldn't you? Man United players, I bet you. And it's, it puts you off, really. We didn't know anything about players we were playing, apart from when it was Georgie Best or somebody super like that. But now you know everything about everybody. And I don't, that's not a good thing. You don't know how good they are. <laughs> Forget about that. Think how good you are. Thanks, Oh, that's Terry Lee. That's me then. I told you uh, I was right. <laughs> on the right. I told you to seven. I thought it was this one. Yeah, because I told you. That is. You did tell me. You can see who is it. Did anyone else on this team go on to play for Sunday? Bruce Walker played a couple of games. So five, five of the United team in that, on that night played 100 more than 150 oh, games. Interesting looking at that. Yeah. Terry Griffin, he'd kick anybody. <laughs> he was Welsh. Foscolo would kick anybody. Yeah, that's, 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 that's our back four. That's like him. Um, you're small, aren't you? A little bit. Terry, where is How tall are you then? 6'4. Six, 6'4. Four. Six, four. <laughs> Ian got sent off Saturday, missed the game. Did he? Yeah. 
the challenge. <laughs> Martin off for the first yellow. It's just designed for the game. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll bring it. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I thought, like, if I, if I run like that, then it would have done that. Anyone you play with, you thought, should have gone on to play with. Yeah, play more games. It's swimming. Just anything. What's that? Maybe in that team. I just think that that was that team. Who's the best player I've ever known in that team? The goalkeeper played in the first team. Smallest goalkeeper ever played in the first team. To be honest with you, they were very ordinary players. They were. They were crafters, yeah. We didn't know anything about anybody we were playing. Best team in the world for it. We made it different to us because we never knew. You know everything, do you? Then you read, but it's a crunchy name. He's good, isn't he? But it don't mean anything until you get on the pitch. Nothing at all. Would you say that's the biggest difference? I think, oh yeah, yeah. We never had anything at all with it. Didn't know anything. Yeah, I think that affects it more than stuff like the pitches. I think it does, yeah. 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 yeah, it's so much said and talked about it. Where's the yeah, it's, it's too much of it. Yeah. Fourth division too so much talking. Yeah, there is. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, when we got to that final, I mean, we played supposedly some of the best players ever of their age. We played QPR in the semi final. I think it was, they had two brothers, twins, the mortgage, so, yeah. they were called Ian, and it's going to be the next best thing you'd seen, two wingers. Yeah. Our full backs fought them to death, they didn't have a kick. Yeah. We won away at home. Well, it was two legs. Yeah. Yeah. Could you tell me which one was George Brest? No, no. was two legs. It's got to be in there, surely. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's got to be in yeah. there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 What's that, some player he was, I tell you. You see these players in there, you'd love watching him. He had everything. When you played the final, yeah. did you wish it was like, it went to extra time and penalties instead of an away leg? Or did you want to Would have been out? Well, yeah, we'd rather play at Old would not we? Yeah, so I think we flew as well, believe you or not. I'm sure we flew. Yeah, I, mean, I think we flew. When the aircraft was running, we flew from Supermarine. You wouldn't know. It used to be an air. I struck that. Yeah. We flew from there. I'm sure, I had holes in the plane, but I'm sure. <laughs> I couldn't hear for three hours when I got to Manchester. Two years had gone. Did you play old Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. Remember this? Remember the programme, yeah. How many people, do you know how many people was here back then? 1,000. 17,000. Yeah, that's what I meant. Really? 17,000 people to the final, yeah. <laughs> Not a bad gate, was it? 25 at Manchester, I think, 17 here. 25,000 at Manchester, you for fun. Yeah. That's a mate, we'll get last. Imagine 17, yeah, it's a full house. Yeah. That's crazy. For a youth game. Was it the we were well supported though, no, we were, I mean, we used to have 18, 20, 25,000 for the first team then. Yeah. Where did you, you used to play your home game? Like not in not the youth cup, not like the league. Here. Was it, you played all your games here? Everyone, yeah. Well, they didn't. They didn't sort of mind. The manager didn't care about the pitch. Oh, he say that's the Grangemouth yeah, shop. Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> that, that's, I mean, that's that's quite good, Nick. That. <laughs> <laughs> we played on a Saturday afternoon in terrible conditions, like that. We'd have a practice match on a Monday morning, we'd have a bad game, and the same pitch. And he'd say, oh, the Graham's got to put it back together again. <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it must be lovely playing on that now. Running on the top instead of in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, proper leather boots then. Yeah, leather boots. They're still better than this rubbish you get now. The leather ones. Can't be there and they mow to your feet like a sitting there. I used to sit in water with my boots for a week, watching the telly before I wore them. He mowed it right to you. Mowed it to your feet. What goal was that for? 
Oh, that's the first goal that scored at Wembley. That was a corner came over. Yeah. Was it? Did you get a hat trick? Two. Just a brace. Just two. That's not bad. Not bad. Walk off the pitch and you scored two. Not bad. That's one of these pitch. Yeah. Horse of the Year show that was, did that. Horse of the Year show. They had on there on the Wednesday. When it came out. And you know what horses are like, if you're learning about horses, I do, because my granddaughters have got to. They cut the ground up walking, and they was jumping on this. So they were to, you could see it, if you saw it from the air, where all the jumps were. That's how you've got to stay clean, huh? Everybody else is covered in mud. There was a well-known down the laundry. Must be Don's shirt. Don's shirt and shorts that they're not going to no mud on them. Why did you let everyone else do that? I just say right. football, football can't you can't play football let down, can you? Got to stand up. Got goalies wearing no gloves back there. No dog they did actually. 16 16 man in the shop, 68 in the shop. No, it's a couple of years after that when they came out, I think. Pounding, right? Co uh, cotton glove. It was a cotton glove. Peter cotton. Cotton. Wish I had pound gloves. Hundreds of them. <laughs> cotton glove. Remember you say cotton glove? Yeah, it's just, it's just a cotton glove. 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 <laughs> a couple of years later, we yeah, yeah, got yeah. some gloves from our shop that were uh, about 40 or yeah. And we thought, well, we're never going to sell them for 14 quid. And the first pair they went with, they went straight away. So How spent, much the gloves cost now? Well, oh, only three. For about 50, 50 to about 100. Yeah, we do 50 to 100 in the shop. But you can go a lot dearer than that. Yeah. What there's feet? some there's What feet? Adidas. Yeah. Called I'm Adidas 2000 in my day. Had a, had a toe cap on. Reinforced toe cap, which is great. Oh, well, we do all the boots go with the toe. toe cap on. Is that your shopping centre? Yeah. yeah. Whereabouts is it now? Same place it's been for 55 years. Oh, wow. oh, I didn't know where it was. Yeah, yeah. Come on, thank you very much for coming in. No problem. I'll, I'll see you at some point tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. it. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Cheers, Carl. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.